It looks and tastes like chicken, and it is chicken, except for the fact that it was grown in huge steel vats. The company's sales pitch? You can keep eating real meat without giving it up, or becoming vegetarian or vegan. Like I said, it's not a meat alternative. It's meat that's grown from real animal cells. So what we do is we take really high quality animal cells from, let's say, a cow or a pig or a chicken or a lobster, and we look for cells that can continue to grow outside the animal in a very robust and a healthy way. It took the company four years to get the green light from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Now, it's hoping to sell its products to restaurants by 2023 and to grocery stores by 2028. But first, it will need further rubber stamps from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. For now, production is still limited and lab-grown meat will likely remain out of reach for most consumers. We think the initial pricing will be uh, premium, premium to organic, and we also expect the price of conventional meat to continue to grow up significantly. It keeps going up, cultivated meat price comes down, and there's a sweet spot in the next five to 10 years where we intersect and we become more affordable than conventional meat. Cultivated meat could also reduce the environmental impact of livestock which are responsible for around 15% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. Only one other country, Singapore, has approved lab-grown meat for retail sale. The EU, along with Israel and other countries, are currently working on a regulatory framework for lab meat products.